hostiles have destroyed your sentry gun. Enemy UAV spotted. The settings you use can make or break your aim, and with the right ones, it can help you get better in seeing enemies and engage in gunfights easier. Today we're going to talk about the settings I use, as well as the settings you can use for better aim. This is part 1 of a 3 part video series to help you with your aim. Let's dive right into it. First up, manual scoping. This just means you aim and fire using separate buttons instead of using the ADS to fire button. I always keep the ADS to fire button and the hip fire button side by side. Manual scoping is useful for pre-aiming and you can fire faster than a player who uses the ADS to fire button because you don't need to wait for your ADS animation to finish before firing. This will give you faster reaction time when it comes to head-to-head -head gunfights and will allow you to quick scope using snipers and shotguns. To set this up, dedicate one finger for ADSing and one finger for firing. I personally think that tap to ADS will be the best ADS setting for most people playing 3 to 4 fingers. This frees up your finger after aiming so you can do other things such as movement and toggling other stuff that you may need to do. Hold to ADS is better for people who use 5 or more fingers if they can dedicate one finger alone for the ADS button. The general rule is if you have been using aim assist since you started playing the game, leave it on. Otherwise, if you want your aim not to be influenced by aim assist, especially in close range, turn it off. It will take some time to get used to, but based from comments that I have received from my aim assist video, it may be very well worth the effort if you decide turning it off. Stick with what you're comfortable with and work with it. You never want anything affecting your aim but your aiming finger. What? If you have your ADS to fire button on the right side and you're using four finger claw, have this setting on so your perspective won't move while firing. But if you use your thumb to tap the ADS to fire button, have it on so you can still adjust your aim using the same finger. ADS button for rotation should be always turned off if you toggle your ADS button using the index finger while aiming with your thumb. However, if you're one of the rare breed who uses their index finger to aim, I suggest having this on so you can still control your aim after tapping on the ADS button. As I have said in my previous videos, I intend to share with you how I found my sensitivity without using a calculator and it's actually the next video in this series. If you've been looking around YouTube for Call Mobile Pro Player settings, you'll find that their sensitivities usually lie around medium to low. That's because in shooter games, you don't need too high of a sensitivity if you practice centering properly, setting yourself up to aim and shoot. For the HUD, I suggest you use 3 or more fingers to utilize a claw setting. More fingers means more control in your movement and firing buttons. Personally, I have ADS to fire and hip fire buttons on my upper left side toggled by my index finger. I use the ADS to fire button more for reload cancelling and slide cancelling, but I use it for emergency situations. My ADS button is situated on the upper right side toggled by my right index finger. You can now see why I have tap to ADS as my ADS setting. This allows me to do movement while I'm ADS'd, then just quickly tap the button to scope out. Unlike PC or console gaming, we view and toggle our controls in the same screen without the presence of a controller. Having your buttons or controls on your screen may be distracting to some people and that's why it may be beneficial for most people to lower your HUD's opacity. Here's how it looks on different opacity settings. I generally keep the buttons on 25 or less, but if I adjusted my HUD, I would keep it on 75 and once the muscle memory sets in, I'll put it all the way down to zero. It's always better to see more of what's happening on your screen. I keep my minimap's opacity to 80, but you can experiment on what works best for you. Another thing that can be distracting for you is your graphic settings. Having it on high will show more artifacts on the screen and that can interfere with your aim. Graphics also demand more on your phone's GPU, so if you're trying to be competitive, try to have your graphic quality on medium to low and have your frame rate on the maximum possible setting. Things like bloom, depth of field can be distracting for me and I want a clear view of my peripheral vision while I'm aimed down sight, so I have both of those off. If you're having a hard time spotting enemies from range, you'd want to play with a lower FOV. I have found that one of the best snipers in Garena 
Heaven uses 60 FOV and it makes sense because it's important to spot enemies from afar than if you were using a very wide FOV. If you're more of a close range type player, you can use around 75 to 90, but if you're a player who likes to play snipers and power positions, stick to around 60 to 65. These are the settings you need to get down for better aim. Of course, you will still rely on your practice and experience, but you can continue to find ways to optimize the way you play to make it easier for you. That's it for today's video. Make sure you drop a like if you learned something new and share this to your friend who's got potato aim. I'll be showing you a gameplay of me using the Mana War in ranked with my settings mentioned on this video. Enjoy. Contact with enemy. Taking the lead. We captured Alpha. Shock RC is ready. Our UAV has been destroyed. Target's in sight! Enemy down! Predator missile on standby. Target. And go down. Reloading! Cover me! Losing Alpha. Friendly Shock RC is ready. Target in sight! Objective almost complete. Keep it up. We're almost there. Keep it up. Enemy! Bravo. Shock RC is 